Hi everybody, I want to quickly take you through a new tool that I have developed to make your color balancing in your videos and potentially your still images super quick, super easy and accurate without actually having to understand um, all about how to read scopes and, and other bits and pieces. So this is a tool really designed for um, really quick correction in order to get your base grade right um, before you move on to slightly more advanced um, grading processes. Uh, so let me show you how it works. Now I'm showing you in DaVinci Resolve of course, um, this is 16.2 uh, I think. Um, this of course, the, because the way this tool works is it's a uh, a dot cube LUT, it will actually work in a wide variety of different applications as well. Um, so you just get it from the link in the video description below, um, and then you can use it in everything from uh, Magic Vegas Pro through to Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop if you choose to, um, and of course things like Resolve. So this is how it works. Basically, we've got um, a shot here in our timeline. We once we've installed the ultra balancer tool um, we can simply add that uh, to one of the nodes so I'm going to add a new node in this case so this here is going to be our um, base grade if you like whoops um, let's just whoop stop that um, so this here is going to be our base grade if you like we'll just label that base grade um, and then this second node here is where we're going to put the tool. So I simply drag the tool on top of it and you'll see that everything goes a little bit psychedelic colored. Um, that's all good. That's what we want. So this one here uh, is where we're actually going to do the work. So on the on the base grade, we're not going to touch um, where I've put the tool for the time being. But the tool is going to tell us whether or not we are um, hitting the right notes. Now in this case, this shot is actually already pretty good. You can see that the grey card here that I'm using as my reference is pretty grey already. I don't need to worry about anything else. So basically the way this tool works is it looks, uh, is that you look for a neutral colour, whether that's white or grey, uh, in the shot and then you use that to base your correction on. So if, for example, um, instead of being nice and neutral like this one is and already pretty accurate in terms of color balance. Um, if this was a slightly blue uh, image, and I'll show you what that might look like if we turn that one off. Uh, so that is a slightly blue image, doesn't really look that much. Okay, but if you were just looking at that as a reference and trying to fix it by eye, that would be pretty challenging. If you were trying to use scopes, that would be okay, but of course you then have to understand how all of the scopes work. The nice thing with this tool is I don't need any scopes, I don't need to understand how they work at all, I just use the tool itself as a guide. So let's flick it back on again, um, go back to our base grade which is where we're going to make the corrections and you can see now this shot uh, is green and orange. So we're just basically going to get our offset and we're going to shift it towards green and a little bit towards orange and we're back at grey uh, and we're good. So that's it, that is corrected. Now, if uh, it had gone off in one of the other colors, um, you can see this is giving us a guide in each case. So if the shot is slightly magenta, um, then it's telling us that we need to head towards green. We are going to head towards green. Um, and you can see, right, now we're back to neutral. Uh, so we're good. Now, of course, this is a gray card, but it works on white cards as well. Here you go. So just a white, but well, it doesn't even have to be a white card, just anything white in the shot, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but let me show you quickly how this works again. All right, so we're adding a node, Alt S, if you want that keyboard shortcut. Remember, this is our base grade, our first one. This is where we're going to add the tool. All right, I'm going to drop the tool onto there. And you can see in this case, this shot is telling us to go slightly towards blue. So we go back to our original base grade and we're going to just go slightly towards blue all right you can see that it starts to get white we don't want it to see it's getting a little bit of green in it we don't want that to happen right now it's not always going to be absolutely bang on perfect we're always going to get some little speckles um, that will appear unless you happen to be having a perfectly lit uh, image um, but this is probably good enough to pass let's see for ourselves shall we okay so let's turn that off um, go back to here and I'll just show you, so that was the before and the after, before and after, so you can see it really did literally take just a couple of seconds. And just to confirm for you, I did say that we were not going to use any scopes, but I'm just going to confirm for you that this is 
uh, actually working. So here you go, this is um, basically the resulting image. I am just going to snip a little bit out of that so that we can focus just our attention on the white portion of it. All right, and I will highlight that. So that's all we're looking at. Uh, and now I'll bring up the vector scope and you can see bang on right in the center, which is what we want from the shot. Now, just to show you where we were before, if I turn off the corrections that I made using the tool, we go back here and you can see that in fact, yep, it's verging out towards yellow and red, all right? So those corrections basically moved us from a, an image that was a little bit warm to an image that was absolutely bang on in terms of white balance. But I didn't need to use any scopes, so in fact I'm going to turn them off again because we don't need them. Um, I could do that really simply and easily. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, and of course once you've finished using the tool, um, we don't need it anymore, so we can just delete it and we can move on to any other corrections that we want to make. All right, next shot. Here's an interesting one because we have got um, a shot that's been captured, a uh, classic grey card in the background there, uh, and that has been lit by one light. And then, of course, we have the computer, which, as you probably realise, is a, um, a completely different light source. Um, and so the colour white on here is quite different from the white balance on the rest of the shot. Now, normally this would require a little bit of fiddling uh, in order to fix that shot, but we can do it really simply and easily using this tool. So let's see if I can show you. All right, so we've got... Um, our uh, original image. Now the way that I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to add, because we've got two different light sources, I'm going to add a layer node in here. So that was ALT and L. Okay, so the first one we're going to use, uh, we're going to correct the outside. The second one we're going to correct the screen. All right, so now I'm going to add in our tool. So I've added another serial node here. We're going to drop the ultra balancer right on there and you can see right away without doing anything else to these shots, uh, that the color balance is, is, is all over the place on this. In fact, neither the outside or the screen itself are accurate. All right, so we're going to start off by just balancing the outside of the shot. And in this case, we want to go, we want to get this gray to gray. So we're going to head in the direction of blue. All right, uh, actually, sorry, let me just turn that other one off so that it just doesn't confuse us. All right, so we're going to go back here and again, we're just going to head in the direction of blue, okay, in the direction of green, still blue. All right, okay, and that's pretty good. We've got that to gray. Don't worry about all the rest of the shots, that's fine, okay. And then for this other one, I'll just turn that off for now, okay. This other one, we want to fix the screen. And you can see in this case, the screen, we need to head in the direction of yellow. Now, I don't want to affect the outside, so I'm going to very quickly just do a quick and dirty selection on that. All right, we need uh, to go oop, a little bit more there and maybe a little bit more width there just so that we've selected that. Okay, so now we've selected just the screen. That's all that we are going to um, worry about correcting need to turn that back on so that we can see the result um, from the tool here and we want to head in the yellow direction with this one and so let's do that oh. go magenta so we want to go up okay blue a little bit green. All right, we're not going to get this perfect again because it's all down to different lights and things. Okay, but you can see that the colors that we've got on screen are guiding us for the direction that we want to go in. Okay, so that's actually probably pretty close. Obviously, I could fiddle around with this for a little while um, to get it bang on, but that's probably okay for our particular purposes. All right, let's turn this back on. So we've now got both of them together on there. Let's turn the LUT off. Uh, and there we have an image that is correctly balanced for both the outside um, image and also correctly white balanced for the screen itself. Now, of course, I could fiddle with this uh, a lot, but I just wanted to really quickly show you how you did it. So let me just turn this off, All right? So that's the original screen. We went to that and the original outside, we went to that. Um, so original image looked like that and we went to that. 
So really quick and easy. Obviously, it's not a perfectly exposed image or anything like that. Don't get too hung up on that. I just wanted to show you how quick it was to actually correct the color, even though we had two distinctly different lights in there. All right, let's take another shot. A little bit more real world here. Okay, so the woman comes in, she takes a drink of water. Now, what I know about this shot is obviously it has got some kind of color cast going on. We want to get rid of that. We just want to make this a nice, flat, usable image so that we can apply our own look to it. Um, I assume that what she's wearing should be white, so we are going to start with that. We're going to add a new node in there. We're going to drop the ultra balancer on the second node. All right, we're going to look at the, the white top as our reference, and it's telling us that we want to go in the direction of blue. Okay, so of course I'm making the changes on this first node, our balancing node. All right, I'm going to go in the direction of blue. All right, you can see already it's starting to change. Okay, it's a bit green, so we want to head a little bit more in the green direction. Okay, magenta, right, and we're basically back, we're about at white there. That's looking pretty good overall. She's not looking so great, don't worry about that, because we are going to get rid of that now. But we have very, very quickly, without touching any scopes, gone from an image that looked like that, to an image that is correctly balanced. So now we can do whatever we want with it. Now again, just to sort of show you that this is actually working, if we bring up a final node and you're not normally going to need to do this but I am just going to do it to show you all right we're just going to pull out a little bit of her shirt on this okay and highlight it here all right and we are going to go over bring up our vector scope and you can see bang on right there now if I take this original correction that I did turn it off and you can see we were way out uh, in terms of the white balance before so Without using any scopes whatsoever, without even understanding how scopes actually work, we were able to correct that image um, really simply and easily. All right, so there you go, just like that. Right, let's try another one. Again, this image obviously clearly has got a bit of a cast over it. I want to show you how quick it is to fix it, okay? Tool goes on, the second node, you, we look for something that should be white in there. So I'm guessing probably this sort of area in the fence here because it's been a bit clipped. So we're going to get that and we want to make those areas in the fence go in the direction of blue. Let's head in the direction of blue. All right. And they are pretty white now, just like that. Turn that off. In fact, we can just delete that if we like. We are... Delete node. There it is. Uh, we are done with it. So just like that, before, after, before, after. Now in this case, I would probably do a little bit more to this image. I would probably give it a little bit more saturation, make her look like she's a little bit more alive. Um, but that was our before shot, which as you can probably imagine was pretty unusable unless you were putting it in a production you'd already applied that particular look to, uh, to a shot that we can use as a really nicely sort of base graded image and we can tweak it from there. All right, another shot, this one already I just want to show you how good this is. All right, this one already looks pretty good. Um, so we're probably not going to need to do very much just looking at it. Um, but we'll see how we go. We're going to add our node. We're going to drop this on here. We're going to think about, um, let me just get rid of this, find something that should be white. So probably the clouds. All right, so look at the clouds and you can see we need to head towards green with those. So we go back to our first node and we just head a little bit towards green. All right, it's asking for a bit more magenta in there. Okay, just like that, we are done. Turn this off, all right, and here you go. Before, after, before. You can see when you actually look at the before and the after, you can just, it starts to realize that the, uh, the before was actually pretty washed out. Um, and they were looking a little bit magenta. All right, compared to the after, they're looking a lot more natural, nicer looking skin tones. So, super easy. Now, this, of course, will work um, as well with log footage uh, if you choose to use it. Um, it does work best if you get the base correction right first. So, in that case, we're going to do this in, in the uh, tradition of not using any scopes to make any changes. We are going to add a couple of extra nodes in here. This first one, I am just going to see if I can get this shot to kind of look vaguely right and not quite so loggy. All right, I'm not going to use any scopes to do it, but uh, we'll see if we can sort of line up the exposure by eye. A little bit more saturation. 
okay and so there yeah, we've got a shot that is sort of vaguely well exposed there now keep playing with that for a while all right we're going to put on our last node here the ultra balancer boom just like that and the middle one i know that this shirt should be white okay you can see it's a little bit green at the moment um so we're going to head towards green with it orange okay all right we don't want to go too far somewhere around there basically just want to get it you know as close as you can um and that's about it once again we've got lovely blue hands to go along with it all right so i'm finished with that i can delete that node um, because that shot is done all right here you go the before and the after before after and again let me just quickly show you drop this on here i'm going to add a power window on his shirt which should be neutral colored nice white white shirt in here um i'm going to highlight that up and i'll bring up the vector scope just to show you where we are so you go bang on in the center if i turn this off our correction off you can see we're way out towards blue all right so it really is that simple and easy um very very simple task to um to just make a a quick balance um, corrector uh, without having to understand anything about how to use scopes uh, or really rely on your eye or your monitor in order to get the uh, the color correct um, so that is the tim tools ultra balancer link is in the description i uh, hope that is useful to you